Jeffrey's brought her back to his place, but he doesn't know what to do next. Instead of escalating and becoming physical, Jeffrey just awkwardly sits down next to her. Uh, so, uh, so what, what kind of music do you like? How should I go in for the kiss? She looks bored. Why does she keep checking her phone? Can you relate to this situation? Adonis. Like a true gentleman, Adonis opens the door, gets her a drink, and makes sure she's comfortable. Not so comfortable. Inside of Anastasia's mind and brain, there's still a little bit of nervousness, which is always a good sign. She's flooded with emotions, which is exactly the way to attract girls. When I started growing up, going through puberty and getting horny as fuck, I started looking online for advice on how to attract girls, how to flirt with girls, how to text girls. And all of the advice that was available was trash. Literally all of it was trash. You probably heard the exact same advice and that's why you struggled with girls. They told us that the key to flirting with girls was to take an interest in them, to ask nice questions about their hobbies. Do you think that's what those top tier guys are doing? You see, we stumbled down the wrong path. When I saw this advice, I started texting girls. So there's one particular girl I'm texting her like, so uh, well, what are you doing? Doing today and she would literally reply with one word TV you oh that's a really good sign isn't it all these motherfuckers telling me that that's a good sign because you know if she's asked you a question too so I was like yes she's asked me a question okay I took a lot of interest in her do you think I got her obviously not you see there's a lot of undesirable guys low tier guys who take an interest in girls who ask them nice questions and they don't get the girl do they that's a normal experience you've seen everywhere you've probably been through this yourself you've taken an interest in a girl you've asked her about her hobbies and you still didn't get her so clearly that advice did not work Work for us it's not gonna work for us because it's silly advice and it's not even attractive there is one key that I've found that no one has really explained in a nice way and honestly like I'm a little bit hesitant telling you because this is literally a superpower once I've explained this it's like you'll be as good as getting girls as I am and I'm not sure if we should share this superpower so keep it between yourself don't share this video but make sure you watch all of it so I still get the YouTube retention <laughs> Listen closely and make sure you stay around to let me fully explain this. The key to flirting with girls is not to ask them questions, not to ask them about their hobbies or anything like this. It is to spike all of their emotions. Imagine as a man, we have like seven emotions. There's a limited spectrum of emotions. I can't, it's taken me a while to even list them, right? There's probably like seven for men, right? For women, guess how many there are? Guess how many emotions that women can be in? Not seven, not 10, not 17, not 25, but bro, hundreds. You ever see like those color palettes where there's like the basic colors. There's probably like seven, 10 basic colors, but then there's like, you know, the different shades. It's like hundreds of shades of colors in there. That is like women's emotions. And guess what? The more of those that you spike, the more that she will be attracted to you. It's as simple as this. Most guys don't realize this. Like this is so fucking good advice. Just trust me. Okay. Most guys make this mistake that you've done so many times. You think that the way to attract a girl is to just spike <laughs> one or two emotions of her, which is like love and interest. And it doesn't work, does it? It never works. And what's so interesting, you've always heard of the stories where the girl is getting fucked around by the guy who's an asshole, who sometimes stands her up, who sometimes like, whoa, this like scares her and shit. You've always heard those stories, why? Because that guy is hitting as many emotions as possible. You really wanna attract this girl that you're currently speaking to, bro. Disappear, disappear for 24 hours, and that'll be a different emotion that you've not spiked yet. Give her like a slight roast, don't, don't be mean, but roast her about something. That's a different emotion you've never spiked yet. All of the soft guys who don't even get girls will disagree with us, but they don't get girls, you can't trust them anyway. The guys who get girls, do you really think that all they're doing is just being nice to the girl, just being nice to the girl doing everything that she wants obviously not what these top tier guys are doing who find it easy to get girls they're literally just living their normal life you know they've got goals and missions that they're working on and by nature of actually being busy as a man as a disciplined man sometimes they're ignoring her they don't really mean to but sometimes you just don't reply to your phone like for a couple of hours if you're busy if you're like a little spurg and you're on your phone every hour of the day then obviously you're not going to be spiking many of her emotions and that's why you're struggling i will say this again so that you truly understand the most common mistake that most guys make is that they only think about spiking the positive, happy, loving emotion in a woman. Whereas the guys who actually get the girl spike a variety of them. You're with your girl. When was the last time that you ever like, oh! Like you ever did some weird shit like this one the last time that you wrestled her and actually physically hurt her like a little bit. And I'm not talking about abuse or something, but you know, you play fight and then she ends up crying because you just hit her too hard or something. Or she's like, oh, my leg is it. When was the last time that you scared her? When was the last time that you made her laugh so much that she's literally like, she can't, like, you know, she's laughing like a little girl. When was the last time that you did something so silly, so weird, like you put a pistachio in her belly button. When you don't do these things, you are this one dimensional beta male that cannot be attractive because for women, there's no such thing as, you know, a happy, loving, 
connection. Women are in love and so devoted with the guy that is in her mind and her heart. That's true. You know that, right? Not so much that the guy who's the most positive person in the world and he's just compliments her all the time, but the guy who's always in her mind. So think about this right now. What could you do to be in her mind and heart more? Do you think being a one-dimensional Jeffrey is going to help you with this? Just message her the same things always and always. Oh, you know, oh, you're really interesting. What are you, what are you doing today? Oh, I'm taking an interest on your hobbies. You're really cute. Pretty like just positive, 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 positive compliments. Boom. You think that's exciting? You think she's in her mind right now thinking, oh my God, yes, yes. He just gave me another compliment. No. If that's all you are, which most guys are, if most guys are just this awkward, shy, timid guy who's going to try and be nice to her, try and give her a compliment. I'm not saying to be an asshole to girls, but I'm giving you permission to not always be like the positive guy who's just giving a compliment. It's okay sometimes to not reply to a message fast because you're busy. Don't be a little spurk. Don't be sat there like a Jeffrey on your phone, seeing the text message and not replying because yeah, yeah, because the red pill, the red pill YouTubers told me not to reply. So I won't. That's cringe. Anyone who does that is fucking cringe. When you're on your phone, you can reply to people. So every time I'm on my phone, there's a list of people to reply. I'm not trying to sound like a popular dickhead or anything. Maybe I'll choose like five of them when I'm having a shit and I'll reply every time. Right. But that being said, I'm not on my phone that much, maybe 10 times for the entire day, maybe 20 times. And that's still quite like a low amount for most guys because you need something else to do. The reason why you are stuck in this one dimensional Jeffrey, you know, who's struggling to attract this girl and you're trying to just spike her positive emotion because you've got nothing else to do. How can you disappear and leave her wondering what you're doing when you're always there? How can you make her jealous? Even though those aren't positive emotions and every Jeffrey and Jessica will disagree, but they're not trying to help you anyway. How can you make her slightly anxious when you don't even get other girls? She knows for a fact that she's probably the only girl that's interested in you. And even that she's almost given you like a pity interest of like some cost fallacy. Like, oh yeah, we've already spoke for a bit. So maybe I'll keep speaking to her. How can she feel literal sexual desire to want to fuck you when you don't have a six pack? Honestly, this is when your cope will start. If you have a predominant Jeffrey brain, you will start coping now and think, oh yeah, this, this video is shit anyway. He's wrong. Why would you want to make a woman anxious? Oh yeah, compliments. Yeah. The six pack doesn't matter because women like that, if you're coping right now in your own mind, bro, you know you're not gonna make it. I'm not trying to be horrible or anything, but like, we know you're not gonna make it. But you may have the Adonis part of your brain that's lighting up. And that's taking some account of your failures and thinking, you know what, yeah, this this makes sense. Because the guy who gets the girl is always a multi-dimensional being. She really, really likes him. She lusts after him. She's also really upset by this other thing that he does. She also feels a bit jealous. That's the guy in her mind. And you see that and you think, okay, well, you know what? That's not me right now. But really ask yourself, don't pick yourself up falsely. Why would you be in a girl's mind through the day. You want to know truthfully the best way to be in her mind, even though this is seen as toxic, but this is the, the real natural way of things. Because she knows that if you are the level of man that as soon as you walk through the door, you could end up fucking a girl. Most guys can't even believe that this is a concept of like, nah, nah, no one's like that. You couldn't do no, no. The guys who are either at the top or going there know that this is just a normal part of life. Like once you get to a certain level of man, you literally make your woman anxious by just leaving the house, not even being a dog, not even cheating. Like she finds it hard to believe that over a couple of weeks, you wouldn't accidentally fuck a girl as you just go to the gym because you know you'll see a girl on the way there or something. If you're that level of guy, girls find that difficult. I I'm a woman and I'm not emotional. You're a woman and you're not emotional. Well, there's feminine and masculine energy. We know which one that you have because feminine women are naturally and almost wholly emotional. Of course they are. That's not a bad thing. The whole point of a feminine woman's emotions is for us as a masculine man to tame that, to create order inside of the chaos. And you might right now be thinking, well, you know, this, this sounds silly anyway because if it's spiking her all of her emotions, like I don't want to be with an emotional girl. I want to be with a girl who's really sensible and works hard and she's disciplined and she's got goals and she's masculine, which then means that I'm feminine. Because if she's masculine, you've got to be feminine. And that, that can be okay. <laughs> Sometimes, maybe the truth is from my understanding, if you don't want a feminine woman who has these normal like female emotions, which are very chaotic compared to a man's, you might be a lot more feminine than you think. Because I've realized that the more masculine you become, the more ordered and disciplined you become, you just, you shrug your shoulders and like, if someone asked me like, why, why do you date a woman who's emotional? I would answer like, why wouldn't you? I want her because that's the whole point. Like I'm not that emotional anymore as I've become more masculine. What else? I like that she's got a whole spectrum, whole color palette of emotions. Cause it's fun for me. It's like, yeah, sweet. That's my mission. Like with my time with her, that's my mission. That's like, let's engage some of these emotions today. Let's think which one she needs today. Okay. She needs a bit of excitement. Maybe she needs like a little bit of a scare because she's been getting comfortable. So I'll just stand in the wardrobe. <laughs> Does that, does that make sense? Because, or am I weird for that? No, that's, that, no, I'm not weird. You're, the other people are, bro. I fear that even whilst you've watched like 12 minutes of this video, you have this deep rooted conditioning, propaganda, brainwashing from the normal society around us that has conditioned you to fear a woman's emotions. They've conditioned women to think that their emotions are a bad thing. A lot of women these days are literally giving up their emotions and thinking like, nah, like I don't want to be emotional. I don't cry or anything. That's seen as a bad thing. A woman being feminine, like being feminine naturally means you have to be emotional 
emotional. That's two and two together. Women are literally abandoning their femininity because of feminism. And because of that, women are less feminine. They've had to get into the workplace. So now they've got to develop some of their masculine energy. And so when women become more masculine, men become more feminine. And I think this mess up of our sexual energies is what's causing the need for you to even watch this video. 50 years ago, you wouldn't have needed advice like this. We wouldn't have even been speaking about this kind of topic or like how to get girls because it would have been simple. Work hard, get a good job, be a masculine gentleman. It was literally as simple as that. And the complication has come from like these modern movements that have destroyed our ability to even make relationships. Through this video, there's been so many like trigger points for like the modern person, the modern woman, the modern man to think like, nah, this guy in the bathrobe is wrong. Nah, I'm a woman, I'm not emotional. Nah, I'm a man and I don't want an emotional woman. If you really want to find out what kind of man you are, whether you're feminine or masculine, just analyze your thoughts over this video. Because if you are more on the feminine side and you've been watching all this, just wanting to give up and thinking like, nah, this is all pointless. I don't want to do this anyway. It's not gonna even gonna work. And like, nah, a woman like that, I don't even want a work girl like that. I just want a girl who likes me for me. You're not supposed to be feminine. I don't know if this is like a big fucking controversial statement, but as a man, you're not supposed to be feminine. There's countries in the world where men aren't feminine and those countries are developing at a very fast rate. You are not supposed to be feminine. And now if you're interested in this topic and you really want to go face your real energy and you want to develop that core masculine energy inside of you, you want to be the man. You want to learn how to dominate women. Click and watch this full masculinity guide right now. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.